Hello, it's Joe the CRM chap here, and we're back with a new video in my series all about Microsoft Exam PL400. This is the developer's exam for those who are looking to validate their skills in developing solutions involving or indeed extending out the Power Platform. So we're continuing now our look at the Web API capabilities of the Microsoft Dataverse. And in this video in particular, we're going to be looking at uh, the concept of the global discovery service. Now, this comes into play when we've got multiple different environments set up within our uh, Microsoft 365 tenant. Um, we can use the global discovery endpoint as a way of being able to sort of interrogate the details about all the environments that we have, um, the high level settings about them, you know, and potentially use that as part of our application to then make sure we direct users to the correct location each time. So the, what we're going to do today is just look at, at via in Postman how we can communicate with the Global Discovery API and some of the uh, components and features that it sort of exposes out for us. So first of all, what I'm going to want to do is I'm in Postman. Um, so if, if you would need to make sure that you followed along from the previous video, uh, which I'll include in the comments below. Um, and effectively, what we want to do is just add on an additional request. I'm going to call this our uh, Global uh, Discovery uh, Sandbox as an example. Now we need to do slightly different authorization settings because it's a different URL, different resource that we're trying to access within um, within our environment. So in this case, we need to just um, tinker about with some of these settings on here. Um, so effectively, some of these will be okay to leave. I'll just call this a global disco, uh, which sounds quite fun. <laughs> uh, local host is what we want to remain it as. Uh, in this case, we want to uh, make sure that we are using a specific uh, resource um, URL here. Um, so in this case, it's already been pre-populated. Um, so it's going to be HTTPS global disco .crm -dynamics com. That's the resource that we want to request access to. Okay. Um, we're going to use the existing client ID from before, and this is going to be an implicit grant flow. So let's just get the, the access token that we're going to need for that. Uh, so there it is, global disco, use token like so. Uh, and then now what I want to do is actually build out the request so that I can uh, interrogate the global discovery endpoint in a bit more detail. So in this case, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to grab uh, the following URL that I've got here on my other tab. Uh, I'm going to paste it into my enter request URL like so. And then I'm going to fire that off and I should get a response back. Yeah, so we can see it, we've returned some details about all of the instances that are in my particular environment. Uh, and from here, I can start to uh, interrogate a little bit further in terms of what details are in there. So if, for example, let's say I'm interested in just a specific environment. Um, so as an example, we've been working primarily within our PL400 environment. So I'm just trying to find the details down here. So what I can potentially do is um, search for and find that in particular um, instance that I'm most interested in. So I'll just call this, uh, so I'll try putting in unique name. Um, actually, no, it needs to be a URL name as, a, as an example. URL name equals uh, PL400 uh, dev test. Just need to put some single quotes around it, like so. Send that off, and it should just return just those details about it. Although, I think maybe I'm using the wrong, uh, I think it needs, might need to be a unique URL. So, let's just Let's just go and grab that from that particular one. It's a bit of a garbled mess, but it's uh, it'll do for now. Uh, unique name equals, okay, like so. Let's try that again. Okay, so in this case, we get just the details back for the particular environment. If I wanted to interrogate further, because this is a no data endpoint, I can actually um, just use common OData filters. So for example, I could do something like select um, uh, equals uh, tenant ID uh, environment uh, ID and then we'll get just one more useful detail down here which will be let's say our friendly name fire that off again and we can see we get just those details back from there so effectively, you know, we can use the global global discovery URL to, like I say, discover the instances that this user that we're logging in as has access to as part of that. Uh, if we were to just remove these select parameters, we can also interrogate a little bit further in terms of what other useful details we get from there. Uh, 
So for example, we, we know that, for example, that the user connected at the moment is an admin in the particular environment. Uh, we know which region it's in. It's in the GBR region. Um, it's not a free trial because it doesn't have an expiration date on it. Uh, we get the unique name as we've noted already, the URL, uh, API URL, which might be useful if we wanted to do um, API requests against it. And then last updated, which will be when somebody probably uh, an admin made a change at the environment level. So typically as developers, we'll be working with the discovery URL uh, as part of any bespoke applications we create. Um, you know, so potentially if we've got an app that needs to connect to lots of potential different environments um, and we want to um, discover that and incorporate uh, that as part of our application, then we'd use the global discovery endpoint to be able to get those details out. And then as part of, let's say, um, our application connecting into Dataverse, um, we can then sort of uh, display and control and give, or give the user control over which environment they want to point our application into, you know, which is quite nice. And these days, we'd, we'd always want to make sure we're using the global discovery endpoint as opposed to the um, now deprecated regional uh, discovery endpoint. Um, uh, that, uh, as it's been deprecated, there's a good chance it will be removed in the future by, well, not, not a good chance, it almost certainly will be removed by Microsoft in the future. Global discovery is going to give you access to all tenants that a user has, has access to, regardless of geography, which is another benefit over the regional one. So that wraps it up for uh, this video. Uh, so I hope you found this useful uh, in terms of understanding how the Global Discovery Endpoint works and how you can interact with it from Postman. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying the content, and I'll see you next time as we continue our look at the Web API capabilities by seeing the type of requests that we can fire against our Dataverse environment. So I'll see you then. Cheers.